Hi there, and welcome to the online reading of The Princess Richard by playwright Jared Corona. Uh, I will be reading the stage directions for you lot, so without further ado, let's get started. At Rise, two new setups. One, a newsroom, downstage. Conservative pundit for the flame, Ronald Guerin. The other, an intimate interview setup upstage. There sits anchor Sandra Beaver, frozen. Good evening, America. Thank you for joining me here at the Raging Ronnie on America's number one news network, The Flame, where truth is all that matters. Today, let's talk about cultural degradation. The best jumping off point? ZXY's top so-called journalist, Sandra Beaver's much-viewed interview with the Prince of England. Now you know how this goes. In the interest of keeping you all informed, I'll play you a clip, and then I'll give you a triple-shot dose of truth. Let's watch. He presses play on a remote. Sandra unfreezes. The U.S. government this past week announced new sanctions on the small nation-state of Africa. When pressed by reporters, Press Secretary Bridget Eliza Lodge said that no, it wasn't racist to refer to Africa as a tiny country. Tune in tomorrow when I have noted sociology professor Limpy Two-Step tell us definitively whether or not racism is in fact kosher. But for today's show, we have something even more pressing. I have an exclusive interview with the Prince of Darkness, Lemony. Welcome, Lemony. Prince Lemony enters and sits opposite Sandra. It's nice to finally meet you, Sandra, though I do have to clear the record. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was dirty. She hands him a vinyl record. This is very opaque. The opposite of clear. But no, I meant to correct the record. Has it told a lie? I'm not aware of its history. I'm the Prince of England, not of darkness. You're mistaken. I'm not a girl and my last name isn't taken. Yes, you're single. Back to England. I've never been. The topic. Ah, yes. In America, we call England the Kingdom of Darkness on account of all the overcast days. We do tend to put too many actors into our days, as do we all. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So, Lemony, may I call you Lemony? I don't think you have myself. You have a good point. What is it you wanted to tell us, Lemony? Well, Sandra, I have a big announcement. If any anchor could handle a big announcement, I knew it would be ZXY's Sandy Beaver. I can handle the biggest in the business. Lay it on me, Lemony. Right, Sandra, here we go. I, Prince Lemony of the Great Kingdom of Britain, love Dick. Ronald presses a button on his remote. Sandra and Lemony freeze. Let's stop it right there. Now, we all know that the flame has never stood for homophobia. Sure, you might say we do sit for it. We even kneel for it, pray for it, some might say. But I don't think it's homophobic to say that the Prince of England calling for an interview to announce to the world that he lacks, well, penis. That's a surefire sign of cultural degradation. I called it, I called it 10 years ago when fast food restaurants stopped selling burgers by having nearly naked women child down on a bucket of grease. That's always the first sign. Why did Rome fall? McDonald's stop having sex symbols moan around their McNuggets. Let's keep watching. He presses play. The freeze ends. You love dick. That's right, Sandra. I can't get enough. This is an unusual way to make such an announcement. It's very to the point. I wanted to do it in a, a roundabout way. Oh, we don't do interviews in traffic circles, only squares, but we prefer not in any traffic. Right. Well, I didn't want to be so blunt, but Dick is so insistently to the point. Your dick is pointy. That's right, Sandy. Ronald pauses once more, not to be anti-Semitic, but circumcision will do that. Now that we know the royal family practices genital mutilation, how can England go on? This is a serious scandal. He plays the interview. What would you say to the inevitable naysayers? I don't make a habit of speaking to horses. To get a proper conversation, you waste a lot of peanut butter on them, and they're not that great at it. Horses are rather dull. Not pointy at all, one could say. Ronald pauses. Bestiality? Lemony keeps sinking lower. He presses play. I've been following the cultural trends of England for years now. You shouldn't confess to stalking. Quite white. Right. Proper stalkers stalk in secret. 
I suppose you aren't proper. No, I'm Sandra. More traditionally minded Brits might say the country isn't ready for a prince who openly loves Dick. What's your response? I'd ask the British people to give Dick a chance. If you'd ask it, you might as well do it. My fellow Brits, please. Once you turn to Dick, you won't be able to get enough. Ronald pauses. Here we go. They told us conversion therapy doesn't work. They said torturing the gays was wrong. Well, if torture is wrong, I don't want to be right. Torture is all right as Americans. Our left, democratic pedophiles. Here's Prince Lemony, a prince, advocating for conversion therapy on all of England's lesbians and straight men. Is there a more toxic masculinity? I, for one, say keep the lesbians. Let the lesbians clip bang each other on camera or over my face as much as they want. I'm a good person. But forcing dick on our traditional friend over the Atlantic? That's sick. It's literal vomit. Play. He presses play. Dick is incredibly sweet. That's an interesting view. What sort of sweet would you describe it as? It. That's a bit rude. But I guess you could say my dick is lemony sweet. Your dick. I mean, I don't tell him what to do or own him, but yes, my dick. You don't have control over your dick. I think it'd be quite a scandal if I did. Ronald pauses. So he's not just promoting blowjobs on national TV, but he's telling people to blow him. If this isn't moral grounds for sanctions from Congress, then we can't make moral coffee. He presses play. Three years ago, you dated Fanny Leakes. Oh, my sweet Fanny Leakes. Do you need a diaper? I don't have children. You don't love her anymore. There are still people who'd love to see you together and who loved your love story. My pulling out of Fanny was a mutual decision. We still appreciate each other. I love Fanny. Fanny is my absolute best friend. But I love Dick. I love Dick with all the force a single soul can give to love. Yet some of my viewers will see this and ship the two of us. No one should try to send us through the postal system. It isn't made for human trafficking. That's what your ice is for. Ice is for making drinks cold. Why would you have a government agency for that? George Bush wasn't sure how it worked. That makes sense. Actually, that would be the Treasury Department, wouldn't it? Unimportant. They'll think you're in love with me. Please, say something to make them stop. Stop. Grand attempt. Thank you. Can you try again? I can. May you? That's better. Here I go. I admire the work ethic of Sandy Beaver. I think Sandy Beaver is the best beaver the news world has ever known. I like... Sandy Beaver. Despite that, I do not love Sandy Beaver. My apologies. I love my dick. Actually, I think it'd be important for everyone to meet my dick. Really? The tabloids would love that. I'm not sure if I could air it, though. Could you water it? Is that a euphemism? It's a mephorism. That isn't a word. That is very much a word. You just used thought. Well, Sandy Beaver, be prepared to meet Dick. Lemony stands. Ronald pauses. I don't know if I can show this next bit, but public exposure? That's almost as embarrassing as private exposure. Viewers, be warned. You may be about to see a famous person's genitals. Be prepared to either be in awe or laugh at a shot in Freud. He presses play. Lemony grabs a man off stage, Richard Tastic, and brings him on. Everyone, this is my dear Dick. Oh my. What? No, mine. Hi, Richard Tastic, but everyone calls me Dick. It's a pleasure to meet you. Dick, meet the Sandy Beaver. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Dick Tastic. Ronald pauses. Shit. Well, I need time to process this. Richard moves. Ronnie, can we stop this? What? Please? Let us go. I paused you. Ronnie, please. Sit down, dick tester. You can't keep us here. I said sit down. You ruined it. Again. Take it from the top. 
Rewind. Ronald presses rewind, and they go through a series of movements as if rewinding, all very obviously scared of Ronald. When everything is reset, good evening, America. Thank you for joining me here at the Raging Ronnie on America's number one news network, The Flame, where truth is all that matters. End of play. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the online reading of The Prince's Richard by Jared Corona. I was Jared Corona, and I read the stage directions. Thank you guys.